Hi, welcome to another video. Um, I'm Marek Mulaczyk from SciTraining.co.uk and this is video number six on new features in Photoshop CS6. In this video, I'll be showing you the new feature in Color Range. Color Range appeared back in CS3 or CS4. Color Range, uh, what you can use Color Range for is to create selections based on colors in certain areas within the image. Now, what's new in Color Range now is detecting the skin tones, the faces on the images. I'm going to select this boy's had this boy's face on the images in color range. So I'll go to select in the menu and choose color range. Okay. What's new in here is this detect faces checkbox. So here's what I would do here. I'll leave it as a sampled colors. That's fine. Okay. I'll check localized color clusters. Okay. And then I'll check detect faces. Okay. And notice immediately that his face is selected. Now all the other stuff is selected here as well. But to start with, his face has been selected. Now what I would do is, I'll just use the eyedropper with the minus sign and I'll click a couple of times here. Oops. On the background. Okay, to get rid of that. Okay, I just want his face. And here you go. I've got his face selected. Okay. Just the face. Yeah. So I can just click OK. And here's his face. It's not a precise selection, so if I just undo and go back to color range, I would probably refine it even more. So I want to detect faces. I will just use the minus sign here to get rid of that. Okay. And what I could do is use the fastness slider, turn it down, and then the range. Okay. I'll keep it in here on the 100%. I'll use the plus sign a bit more to click on his oops, face here. Okay. Right, now okay. this one here. Use the minus sign and click on here. Right. Then I can refine the selection later on by removing this area from here. So that's new detect faces in color range in Photoshop CS6. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. I'm Marek Mularczyk from saitraining.co.uk and from Photoshop Lightroom Bridge.co.uk and I'll see you tomorrow in the next video. Thank you for watching.